Our topic today is about, uh, you know, the Mohammedan as usual. I, usually I don't talk about those things, but I find it very strange that I receive this uh, video about this Abdul here. So this is a video made by this guy about Sheikh Uthman, Ibn Maftouk, uh, taking his wife, but what is the story? Uh, usually I don't talk about those private matters, you know, this is not my business. I mean, somebody divorced, somebody get married, this is his business. Uh, never put your nose in something private, but this is more than a private. But look what I found. I just set up my, uh, you know, my YouTube, and right away, in the right of my screen, I saw the video uh, of uh, Lili Dawa. But what is the topic? Look at this. Divorce pandemic. What is the cause? What's the cause? Episode 17. They have episode, you know, like, you know, series. You know, like Tarzan in the jungle number one, Tarzan in the jungle number two. So divorce pandemic. And here you will notice that those two men, they bring uh, women and they are talking about sex and they are talking about, you know, this is, this is the Muslim community in England now. But I want to show you more than what is behind the curtain. You see, they are wearing hijab and they are wearing the burqa, you know, and this woman, she is showing her half of her head. And Lili Dawa, he don't mind for sure. I mean, the hijab is just hijab for, uh, you know, uh, functionality, you know, to be like she is a she is a decent woman. So this woman, this man here, he go in the Internet and he is a friend of uh, Uthman Ibn Farouk. And he is telling his story. So let us listen to his story and see what's going on. All right. Again, I am not really interested in his private life, but he published it online, you know, willingly. And I use it to show you how you cannot trust a Muslim and why Muslims don't trust Muslims. Let us hear first what happened with this guy. Brand you, Jannah, I mean, Ya Rab. So, a week ago, almost a week ago, you asked Sheikh Osman how to find a good wife. Oh, uh, just to go back, he was talking to Sneeko. So, this video is made and sent for Sneeko. And you know, I mean, look who is their friends and their advisor, Sneeko. I mean, the guy, he don't even know how to say two words together. And uh, obviously, he's a street boy. And you are asking Sneeko. For something? What are you asking Sneeko for? Listen carefully. Shocking act from Sheikh Uthman. What is that act? brother Sneeko. MashaAllah, God bless you. Yes, MashaAllah. And you, Jannah, Amin, Ya Rab. So, a week ago, almost a week ago, you asked Sheikh Uthman how to find a good wife. Mm -hmm. So, you ask him two methods to find a good wife. You ask him about dating apps. He said, no. And he, you ask about about... Uh, only fan he's like i don't know what his uh, only fan is this is totally fine yeah um Sheikh Osman doesn't use those methods he uses a better method exactly totally different that's what fits his style subhanallah may allah guide us all so who you will wait i'm gonna tell you the <laughs> the process he is gonna wait for a friend and see if he can help him. For example, um, a brother, which is me, I reached out for him because he's a sheikh to fix our marriage. So what I did is I gave him... Hold on. Before you continue, there's a picture on the top I want to show it to you. He is posting it. Sheikh Uthman married us in the same day of this picture. So, uh, because Uthman supposedly is the Imam of the mosque where they live, so this guy, he married an Islamic marriage, and who is the one who performed the ceremony, which is a stupid ceremony, like they put a, a tissue from the kitchen and the top of their hands, and they say, do you accept this woman, blah, 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 you know? Anyway, so Sheikh Uthman is the one who performed their marriage, and they are close friends, very, very, very close, they are brothers. They are really brothers. And as you see here, he took a picture with Sheikh Uthman the day Uthman married him as a Sheikh 
to his wife. So, okay, so this guy, he have a problem with his wife, which he married, which he married through Uthman, because Uthman is a sheikh, as you see. So, which is normal for him. He have a problem. It's like, you know, you, you married in a church, and the priest there, this is the priest of your church, and he is the one who married to your wife. So, you ask him, can you, like, you know, uh, talk to her, you know, help us to solve the problem? So, it's, things can happen this way. Nothing wrong in there now. So he is doing the right thing. I mean, he go to the sheikh, who he trusts most, and he is a friend to him, and always they take pictures and they praise each other. And now he have a problem. Um, so he went to Uthman, asking for help to fix what his marriage. Uthman, for sure, he will fix it very well. I reached out for him because he's a sheikh. To fix our marriage so what i did is i gave him my wife's number because we have some trouble between i had trouble between me and my wife so i trusted sheikh osman i know him and then i was on his table in balboa park mashallah he's one of the du'at here he went on a cross country downward trip so i gave him <laughs> her number uh -huh. to fix our marriage he fixed it right? very much yeah and then yeah. after two days my wife, uh -huh. she completely blocked me, uh -oh. and I know nothing about her. Oof. And I told Sheikh Osman, what happened? Why why she doesn't talk to me? She's like, she doesn't want you, that's it. Yeah. Ah, Sheikh Osman, he was sent to fix it. He told him, just uh, don't talk to her, man. She don't want you, that's it. No negotiation. Why? Because Osman, he took the wife. <laughs> yeah, don't bother her anymore. I'm like, okay. I was like, okay, well, this is my fate. So um, I got suspicious a little bit. Like, what's going on? So somebody told me that she got married, like after a month of... What? Somebody told him, I'm just showing you on top, married as a second wife, and she cannot reveal his identity. So he's talking about a video made by his wife, uh, speaking that she got married, to a husband, but she cannot reveal his identity. Why? Because it's secret marriage. Ah, okay. So now this guy, he became more suspicious. Why she do not reveal the name of the husband? What's going on? Me, of, uh, of our separation. I was like, this is weird. This is not Islamic way. And then she's still my wife. Why? She married somebody else. How she married? Like, this is weird. A very private person. Very she private. She doesn't talk to any guys. Absolutely. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, subhanAllah, I did some research and yeah. I found out that Osman married my wife. Instead of fixing my marriage, he married her. Still, <laughs> she's still married to me. Islamically, she's still married to me. SubhanAllah. May Allah guide him. I don't know. SubhanAllah. This is not Islamic. <laughs> this is not... I don't know what to say. Subhanallah. Not Islamic. Isn't it your prophet? He took his own son wife. What are you talking about? Isn't it your prophet? He went to his own son wife when she was at the house of the husband and he flirted with her and he said to her, please be to Allah, the one who made my heart to flip for you. See, Allah is the one who made his heart to flip for her and his penis too. Come on, brother. This is very Islamic. What are you talking about? If your prophet did it, why Uthman, the ketchup boy, would not do it? You know, he was catching up with your wife. So this is the way that uh, Osman pick up his wives. And guess what? She's a second wife. And then this is the testimony of my wife that how did she find the new husband? Oh, now listen, guys, his wife is the one. She is very private. Remember, he said she is very private. She doesn't talk about anyone, but she is posting this online. <laughs> Listen. You judge. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam alaikum. So I'm a second wife. My husband had a first wife before we got married. Him and I were not looking to get married, like at all. Um, there was a guy that was trying to marry me, and he gave my current husband my number, saying, "Please call her. Call her for me." Blah blah blah. And he called, and he was like, "Look, I'm only calling you because this guy won't get off my butt." And we talked. Rothman, he told you that this guy he didn't want to get off his butt. That is very sexual too. What do you mean his butt? You just said he's trying to marry you.
What do you mean I'm only calling you? Okay, and what happened? For like two hours, we ended up really being fond of each other. Uh oh, it took us man two hours. Guys, he called the women because the husband asked him to call the wife. After two hours, they are in love. <laughs> two hours. <laughs> How many days? How many days? <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> and he called me. He was like, look, I'm only calling you because this guy won't get off my butt. And we talked for like two hours. We ended up really being fond of each other. He told me, I'll find a, a husband for you. I said, okay. I'm you will find a husband for her. What a service he is doing for her. He is doing it charity. La 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 la. I wanna be a sheikh, oh la la. All women just call me. I can't find a husband for you beside me. La 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 la, what the heck? And this guy in yellow, he's saying, how can he allow himself to speak to his friend wife this way? <laughs> so this idiot, he gave the phone number to Uthman. Uthman, he called the women. Two hours, they like each other. And Uthman, he said, I will find your husband. Just worry, you know, I'm coming to you tonight to find your husband. <laughs> I'll make sure you approve. He said, no, I'm going to find a husband for you. Oh, uh, no, listen, listen. She said to him, I want to be sure that you approve. Uthman have to approve the husband. He is her daddy, mommy, daddy, family. Uthman. <laughs> you see what is the duty of Uthman in San Diego? He is working so hard. <laughs> I said, okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And then we ended up getting married. Uh, we ended up getting married. That's it? You jump there? What happened between? Come on. What do you mean? You and all of this is in a few days. Man.